and welcome back into Good Morning Arkansas on this chilly Monday. I'm Beth Hunt in for Barry Brandt this week along with Dr. Reese Brandman from the Cosmetic Surgery Center. Good to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah, I've never done a segment with you, so I was excited yeah. about it. And I need to say congratulations because you were well, voted best of the best. Well, Arkansas thank you Democrat very much. Gazette. Yeah, it's really exciting to be voted best of the best in Central Arkansas as a cosmetic surgeon. It just really is a highlight of my practice and the staff is just elated about it and it's just really a wonderful experience. Yeah, it's quite an honor. And I just want to say, say thank you to all of the Central Arkansas patients and people that voted me in. Yeah, well, we appreciate you coming on. One of the best here in Arkansas on oh, our yeah. show. So uh, you get a lot of questions there in your office and a lot even after you make your appearances here. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to share some of those with our viewers. Sure. Um, let's go ahead and talk about what Sharon from Bryant um, asks. And she says, I have had four C-sections in the last 11 years and have excess mm -hmm. skin around my stomach and sides. She calls it her apron. Okay. She says, I will be thrilled to get rid of it. It affects me in every area of my life, what can Dr. Bramman do for me, and how much would it cost? Well, the cost is variable. Mm -hmm. um, what I can do is what we call an abdominoplasty. An abdominoplasty is a procedure where we actually remove that quote-unquote apron that she's talking about. And um, it's actually a fairly easy procedure. Patients can do it on an outpatient basis. Uh, and we can also tighten up the tummy muscles and sometimes give them a cuter belly button yeah. in addition to that. I would imagine this is something that a lot of women deal with, especially after having that many C-sections. They do, because yeah. that scar causes a little bit of adherence of the skin, and then the extra skin sort of falls over that and sure. then we can get rid of that and remove those extra c-section scars too. Okay, so there you go Sharon. If you want uh, Dr. Reese's information, phone number, all of that, we're going to pop that up coming up in just a little bit. So stay tuned. Also, uh, we have this question from Deanna in Little Rock. She asks, I am planning to have breast implants. Is the price based on the size you choose? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> no, it's not. So the bigger, not the more doesn't more cost any more. Okay. The price does vary on the type of implant, mm -hmm. though, because we use a silicone or a saline type of implant, and the prices do vary for those types of implants, but not necessarily for the size of the implant. And people come in and have a consultation, I would imagine, they before, do. and then they can kind of determine what is best for them, right? What we do is we will actually size them in the office. We'll take actual implants and let them place them in a bra or something to size them and give them an idea of actually what they're going to look like before surgery. Okay, very good. There you go, mm -hmm. Deanna. Okay, next up, this question comes to us from Susan in North Little Rock. She says, I'm in the process of losing weight and know in the future I will have my breasts lifted. I'm only 28 years old and I'm embarrassed that my breasts sag. I want them nice and firm again. Well, who doesn't? Should I have a breast lift or breast implants and what is the cost for that procedure? Well, the answer to your question is that it could be both mm -hmm. because sometimes what we'll do is we'll lift the breast tissue up and then they still have a little bit of fullness that they need and so we'll put an implant in at the same time that we do the lift and it also depends on we'll need to see her in a consultation but really we could actually do both of those procedures at the same time and really give her the look that she wants yeah just so I mean all at the same time it happens she doesn't That's have to right. come back she doesn't have to come back for a secondary procedure okay very good mm -hmm. all right next up we have uh, this question from Karen and Cabot and she's actually we have this one from Mavis and Alexander okay. I see fast. Uh, my upper eyelids are very heavy and hinder my vision a little bit. Does insurance typically pay for this when it's done for that particular reason? It's getting harder and harder all the, the time with the way insurance is reimbursing people. And um, what she would have to do is go to an ophthalmologist and have them do a visual field study. And that would tell them if they could actually get insurance to pay for it. And then the ophthalmologist could refer them to you. And then the ophthalmologist can refer them to me. Uh, but many times we have to just, we just go ahead and do the procedure and insurance doesn't cover it. Right. Okay, there you go. Okay, finally, we're going to get to Karen from Cabot. And she says, I am in my late 40s and beginning to sag in my lower face and neck area. Also, my jowls are looking droopy and deep creases are appearing on each side of my mouth. Is it too soon to consider a facelift? Well, if she actually has jowling, drooping here, and in the neck, it probably is not too soon to consider a facelift. Um, we do facelifts anywhere from the mid-40s all the way up into the 70s and 80s. And so it just depends on the patient. She may have lost some weight. She may have had this weight fluctuation, which caused her to start sagging a little bit early. And we would go ahead and do that procedure, and it would actually make a very nice change for her. Okay, there you go, Karen. There, hopefully that answers your question. And we appreciate you coming on again. Thank Thanks you so very much. much. Yeah. It's good wanna, seeing you. You too. We want to put your information up on the screen. 
screen, Dr. Reese Brandman from Cosmetic Surgery Center there. Uh, Executive Center Drive Suite 100. For more information, call 501-227-0707. Hope you have a great holiday. You too. Okay, we'll see you next All time. All right. Stay with us.